Hi, friends. This is Susie, your Candy Crush guru at a mad dash to the end. And when I say the end, I mean it. This is the second round of three in the All-Stars semifinals. I've been at this for about 55 minutes, trying to uh, reach the impossible uh, top spot from position number 50. And I know that I can't do it, but I have committed myself to trying for one hour. And so here I am still racing through and I'm nowhere near the top. And that's okay, because I never intended to get to London, never intended to get to the top, just wanted to see what I could do with an hour. And let's just go ahead and talk through a few of my experiences for the past uh, f during the next four minutes. I'm using boosters because I've got plenty of boosters. It doesn't bother me to use boosters here. Uh, and I am just kind of ripping through this quickly without paying much attention, but I still need to pay a bit of attention as to how the board works and what I need to do to get there. So five, one, two, three, four, five. I've got enough chocolate on the board. I can take out the chocolate without any problems. So that's good. Um, so let's talk about this. I had predicted that uh, at least in the final round, if not in the penultimate round, which I'm in right now, that they would probably have a limited number of boards for me to jump in on and that my strategy of being a slacker probably wouldn't carry me through the semifinals. And that is indeed what happened. I got on this morning, I've got my coffee and my water, I'm all, you know, set up with everything I need in an hour left, hoping that I would be put in with a group of slackers, and that was not the case. It had worked previously, and I knew that that wasn't going to keep working, but I just did not have the time, the energy, the patience to conduct myself in any other way. As a matter of fact, it was a trial this morning just getting to this point because I went to bed early and then uh, I had somebody text me. So then I had to, you know, wake up and answer that text. Oh, I better pay attention. I'm not winning here. And then I had to, oh, let's just throw in one of these at it. Uh, so then I went back to sleep and then I had someone message me through discord and then I had to wake up for that. And then I hear this beeping. I'm like, Oh no, it's one of the smoke detectors and it's beeping every couple minutes. And I hear that my husband and my son are both up and they should be, Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. They should be able to help in some way. And eventually Oh, I had set up just this beautiful little nest for myself of, um, you know, down in the basement guest bedroom where it's nice and cool and I can sleep super well. Don't have to worry about, you know, my alarm going off and waking up my husband. So, you know, I think I've got everything all set up beautifully, fresh sheets. The cats love that I'm in that room because they normally, you know, if I'm in the master bedroom. They don't get to snuggle with me. So everybody's all happy. And, um, and my sleep just keeps getting disturbed. And eventually my husband comes into the room and says, I'm sorry to bug you, but the, um, oh, the carbon monoxide detector is going off and I think we need to leave. And I think we need to call utilities. And I know they're going to be like, hook and ladder trucks and it's going to be awful, but I don't want us to die. You know, I don't, don't want us to sleep and not wake up. And <laughs> in my stupor, I say, honey, it, it's okay. It's, it's not the, the, um, oh, I can't even think it's not the carbon monoxide you know, it's, it's, it's not the carbon monoxide alarm. He's like, yeah, it is. I'm looking at them. The thing right here, it's the one outside Bennett's bedroom. And I said, no, but that it's, it's not the alarm. It's just the alarm that says that we need a new battery. I am not paying attention to this at all. Look at how far away I am from getting this. And I've got stuff over here. Not good. Come on, fish, help me out a bit. And, you know, so I have to tell him to distinguish between an alarm 
which is loud and just here I'm gonna use one of these and just the the beeping that tells us that we need to replace the battery and that if it truly were carbon monoxide from the furnace I would have heard it first or it would have started alarming first in the basement because that's where our furnace is I'm gonna do this um, I feel bad that I'm hitting all of the well here I can do this that should work so anyway, they replaced the batteries. Everything was fine. No problem. And guess what? It is past six and I am absolutely, absolutely certain I did not make it to first place. But let's see if we can get one more glimpse of the leaderboard and congratulate those who are moving forward. It's not me. I never wanted it to be me, to be honest. Never intended it to be me. But I'm getting some gold bars as I go along. Got 25 a little bit ago. Finished another episode. So that's two episodes worth of play. A lot of boosters used, but that's okay. And let's see where this lands me here. Yeah, so there's me grumbling. Semi-final round, all stars. Uh-oh, look at that. It's telling me, Susie, you did not do so well! Exclamation <gasps> mark. Look at that. You didn't qualify for the next stage, but look out for more chances. Oh my goodness, there's not a wild card event, is there? I don't think there's a wild card event. Okay, so here's 26th place. That's where I am. I was able to get 148,264 purple stars in an hour. And then let's look at all of the folks who are above me on my leaderboard. Do you see your name in here? Were you participating in this board as well? And then, you know, even though I still got put in 50th spot on a leaderboard, the top person didn't even get a million, so my concept of stalling wasn't awful. It's just I didn't hit it at the right time. If I had come in maybe five minutes earlier or five minutes later, I might have been on a different board. Remember that this game is partly luck and partly skill, and this particular event is luck skill and a huge amount of endurance so congratulations to all of you who have made it through if i were independently wealthy i would visit london at the time of this and try to get a press pass i'd you know sidle up to some nice news organization and say hey i'll go cover that for you but i don't have money <laughs> to get over there and so you know i I'm not going to look for any ties to any news agencies, but I'm really excited for everybody who is going to be traveling and who will have a wonderful time with this experience. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below, especially if you made it to the leaderboard. Hopefully you took a screenshot of your winning, or at least you can tell us what is in that treasure chest beside that golden besides that golden ticket that's going to get you to london if you can make it through the next round if you have any questions or comments feel free to put those below i'm not done yet a lot of people still have questions some people are still going to be in the mix so i'm still going to be covering this on my videos uh, and I'll also be looking at other things now because this is done for me. So stay tuned if you find these videos helpful, entertaining, just want to support me because you're a nice person, even though you don't really like me. Hey, y you can be nice for your own sake. Please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks. Bye-bye.